Hey, Mike here. Today I'm going to show you how to take this pre-hung door and put it here. Okay, so for this technique, you need minimal tools, which is uh, why I love it. Uh, so you need a hammer, you need a staple gun, screws. So I use, uh, I really like these, um, or spacks, two or two and a half. If you have three inch screws, that works just as well. Um, you need a shim, you need shims. If you're doing a door, I just buy one pack of shims per door. And that's pretty much it. I have two drills, one to drive the screws, one to uh, countersink the screws because I like my screws to be countersunk. Okay, so once you have all your tools together, oh, I'm sorry, and you need a level. Once you have all your tools together, the next thing you wanna do is prep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the whole door and we're gonna remove all the packaging and remove any staples. We, want, we, don't, want anything, we don't want anything protruding that will possibly rack the door when we're trying to install it, especially on the hinge side. Um, you should do the whole thing, but pay special attention to the hinge. Okay, um, same thing with the framing. You wanna pay special attention to the hinge side, make sure there's nothing sticking out and that this thing is completely flat. Uh, this one, of course, you want to check as well, uh, but it's not as important. Hinge side is the one that we're really going to check here. So we also want to make sure that this piece of wood isn't racked at all. So it's not like this or like this. We want it to be pretty flat. So mine was sticking out, like sticking out up here. So I actually just ran a screw up there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make rough marks of where these hinges are going to lie on on the framing so that we know where to where about to put the shims. Now it doesn't have to be exact. So this one looks like it's around here. Uh, the middle one, I think I already put a mark, but it's like, this is just on some loose reference lines. This is where we'd want to put the hinges. All right, now what we want to do is we want to plumb, plumb the framing, okay? And what I do is I actually attach, before I put the pre-hung door into the opening, I plumb this uh, this stud with shims, okay? So if I look at the way that this is laying out, it looks like, where do I have the mark for the, it looks like around here. So if we put some shims in here, if you wanna come closer, you'll see that if I have these shims in here, that is completely plumb, okay? And then if I go down here, I'm completely plumb. Right? So now what I do is I take my staple gun and most likely the staple's not gonna go through two shims. So what you do, you just make a quick mark. Okay. And we're gonna attach one shim at a time. Now if I had a nail gun, this would be a little bit easier, but I don't have one charged up right now. So we're just gonna do staples. This works just as well. Attached. So now what this gives me is a nice plumb area to attach my hinge side to. Um, plumb and I'm um, plumb. Okay, so like we said, now we are plumb, right? This is very important because that this is where we're attaching the hinge side to. So now we're actually gonna move on to the next step, which is moving, which is actually putting the uh, pre-hung door into the opening. So what I do is uh, a little cheat is I grab two shims, I grab the, the, the fat side, and I put these down on the bottom here, okay? And what this does is it gives me a little bit of wiggle room to either pull these out or add some shims uh, so that when you put the door in, you have kind of a little bit of a pl of play. If you go directly to the ground, you can't, you won't be able to drop it down um, at all, okay? so. Hopefully you don't need that space, but if you do need that little gap to bring everything down, you're gonna be very happy you did that. So now we put the door in. Open it, this is a little, a little messy because it's moving around on you, but no big deal. So now, uh, now that we know our hinge side is plumb, all we need to do is attach this whole uh, jam to the wall. All right, and we're not gonna have any, we're gonna have a minimal amount of uh, shims in there. So this is going to be a very strong uh, hinge side because it's attached directly to the frame. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I want to, I want to make sure that this is basically what I'm doing here is making sure this jam 
is flush with the drywall, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna countersink a few screws where, right around where the hinges are. I'm gonna put one here, right through these hinges, or right, I'm sorry, right through these um, uh, shims, and I'm gonna go at the top. We don't really need to get any crazier than that. This install takes, this install takes seven screws. All right, so now that the pilot holes are in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this is nice and level with the, with the drywall, right? The jam is nice and flat. And then I'm gonna check the bottom. Make sure the bottom is also flush with the drywall, all right? And I'm gonna put a screw in the bottom. And we're not gonna go crazy, we're kinda just tacking it in place. Then we're gonna move on to the top. All right. Now I can... So now what we wanna do is just make sure that this is, these are, that this jam is flat with the drywall. Flat with the drywall, we're looking good. Let's check the center before we, looks great. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna run the center one in, right through the, um, the shim. Okay, we're just gonna double check all our, we're gonna kick over the screws, and we're gonna double check our, we're dead on, dead level. Now, if any of these were out of plumb, you just need to, all you need to do is Drive the screw in just a little bit. The center one needs to go in just a little bit. But since we did all that work ahead of time, yeah, you see that's dead on. We don't really need to worry about it. Now what we do is we're gonna move on to the top. All right, so this is all tacked in. Now we're gonna move on to tacking in the top here. So we're gonna put one in right around here-ish. All right, and while we're at it, we're gonna put one, I'm gonna drive a little, drill a little pilot hole here. I'm gonna do it right around the, where the latch is gonna be, and I'll draw another one down here. All right, these are where our screws are gonna be. And what I wanna do is I wanna close this. And now, the hinge is done. The door's hung, pretty much. Now all we need to do is we need to check the spacing along the whole door. So this actually looks like it needs to come down a little bit. So like I said, that's why I added that shim down there. Cause this looks like it needs to come down. Now, if I would have, if I would have put that shim down there and I would install this door, I wouldn't be able to bring this down at all. And I kind of would have been, you know, screwed. So what I could do now, is pull this out, let that drop. And I don't like that reveal. So now I'm gonna keep adding, I'm gonna add a little bit of shim here to bring it up till where it's good. And a little bit more. That looks good. Now, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack the top in. I'm gonna flush it with the drywall, make sure everything looks good. Now what we're gonna do is to set it home, what I wanna do is grab two, I don't really wanna pull these tight because I don't wanna influence this too much. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna countersink this and then we're done. Done. All right. And all we're gonna do now is we are going to shim this now, I wish this wasn't as big of a gap here, but it is what it is. Uh, normally, you wouldn't have such a big gap. But all we need to do is shim this out and, and just basically make this reveal uh, flush the whole way down, or the same size all the way down, just by shimming it. And that's going to be pretty simple. Am I gonna get lucky here? Wow. 
Now, if I was uh, thinking, I would have done this down here where the latch is going to be. So I... Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Now we're going to go through everything. And I want to go crazy here because I don't want to really... I mean, does it get better than that? I notice I haven't grabbed a level or a square or anything after I attach this hinge in, which is nice. Now I'm going to do the same thing up here and down here. All right. And then we'll come back. Done. All right. So now uh, the door's in. It closes fine. It's got a nice reveal, the same reveal across the top. Um, this never will match. The only way to match, get this to match this side is to mess with the hinges. We're not going to get into that in this video. Um, so the last step actually is to get rid of these, um, get rid of these shims. So a lot of times you see people score them and break them. That can sometimes mess up your framing. So what I actually prefer to do is use one of these oscillating tools and you just cut, cut the shims off in like two seconds. It makes it a lot uh, cleaner and you're not banging and messing stuff up. Uh, the other thing you can do if you really want to make sure this door never comes out of square is you can actually pull maybe one screw out, the middle screw, and run like a three inch screw in there. Um, that's up to you. I wouldn't do that unless it really, after a couple months, it, it, it moves on you. But other than that, that's it. Um, I hope this video helped you. Uh, I think if you use this technique, you can hang multiple doors, like probably 15 minutes per door. All right, so please like, please subscribe. Uh, please comment below. If you did use this, please subscribe. Please let me know in a comment how you like this technique or how you do it uh, differently. But that's pretty much it. Thank you.